Through this channel I'm trying to promote both the shortwave listening and amateur radio hobbies. I've made videos showing you how and where to listen to things like illegal HF pirates, number stations, aviation beacons and a number of other things, and today I thought we'd touch on SSTV. The buzzer comes into this yet again, but only as the premise for this video. I was listening to the buzzer being trolled late one night last week, when I came across some distinctive sounding SSTV signals. SSTV stands for Slow Scan Television, and it's a simple picture transmission method, used mainly by ham radio operators, pirates and even spacecraft, to send and receive pictures over radio, and it's really good fun. These images were being sent on 4625kHz, and I received them at a reasonable signal, although the images didn't come through as clear as I'd have liked. Now, I'm not going to go into the fine detail on how all of this works, because that's the boring bit. What I am going to do is show you how you can switch on your radio, and using just a smartphone or laptop, receive pictures from all over the world. Better still, you can send your own. SSTV was first introduced by a man called Copthorne MacDonald from around 1957. He developed the first SSTV system using an electrostatic monitor and a vidicon tube. Since then, the means of sending and receiving these pictures has gotten simpler and easier. By the way, check out the Save It For Parts channel for a really interesting look at a vintage SSTV system with a really cool demonstration. SSTV has been used on spacecraft such as Luna 3, Vostok 1 and 2, Sputnik, Faith 7 and even some of the Apollo space programs to beam images down from space. It's also transmitted by the Aris Russia team from the amateur radio station in the Russian service module of the International Space Station using the callsign RS0ISS. I'm not sure when this last took place given current world events. The equipment used is a Kenwood D710 transceiver running about 25 watts which provides a very strong signal enabling reception using simple equipment. Of course it's not all legal, there have been instances of pirate SSTV transmissions. The Mexican SATCOM pirates sometimes send images of their friends and family to each other via the ex-US Navy 255 MHz satellites and of course the buzzer sees some SSTV from time to time. These licensed amateurs were even sending some festive pictures. So what do we need to receive these pictures? Well it's simple, a smartphone or computer and a radio. On my iPhone I have an app called CQ SSTV by Black Cat Systems, which you can get on the App Store. There's also SSTV apps on the Android Play Store too, and they work quite well. There's also a Windows program called MMSSTV, which is free, simple to use, and there's a great tutorial on Hayden's YouTube channel HRDX, which I'll link below. As you can see, the iPhone app is really simple and easy to use. You can select your mode, and I just keep mine on auto, as the header at the start of the transmission sends out the mode it's using. So you also need a radio. I use an ICOM 7300 and an ICOM 705 for HF SSTV signals with a long wire antenna, but for VHF and UHF you can use a cheap handheld. You can even use an SDR dongle to receive these signals. When you have everything set up, you just find some signals and when you hear one, press start. The app will even auto start. I'm just using the sound from my radio which is being picked up by the phone's microphone. Just be sure to minimise background noise. The stronger the signal you receive, the better the image quality. For example, here's a good copy, and here's a poor copy. You could feed the audio directly into the phone, but as I said at the start, we just want to keep this simple, so I'm just using the phone's microphone. Once the image is downloaded on screen, you can make some slight adjustments and then save it. So where do we find these signals? Well there's a whole range of SSTV frequencies that are officially recognised. I spent an hour on 14230 this morning and received all of these pictures, and it seems like one of the most popular frequencies out there. It's not all HF either, so don't worry if you don't have a fancy radio and big antenna. There's also frequencies in use on VHF and UHF, which means a VHF and UHF handheld will do the job. Before we look at sending images, I'll show you some more I received yesterday and today, in the space of around an hour. 
At the end of this video I'll include some audio clips which you can use to test with your app as practice for the real thing. Now, if you're a licensed radio amateur, you can also send SSTV images using HF equipment or a VHF UHF handheld together with the app. All you need to do is load up an image in the app itself, add any text that you want, and send it by holding your phone speaker next to a two-way radio. It can take a bit of fine-tuning, but I found full volume close to the radio speaker seems to work best. Someone on the receiving end can then decode your image like so. So that's a simple overview of SSTV and the fun you can have receiving images from around the world and of course sending them between friends if you have a radio license, why not give it a go?